Hello and welcome to another material test video on my TechFan YouTube channel. And this time I have two resin materials. This one is the Prusa Mentor resin. It is in uh, tough Prusa orange color. And this one is the Siraya Sculpt resin and it is in grey color. And these test specimens are sent to me by one of my viewers, by Samuel from Slovakia. So thank you Samuel for this. And I will do those uh, standard mechanical experiments with uh, these test objects. Uh, this means that the results will be comparable with those which I did in earlier videos. And it also means that these test objects are printed by same person with the same settings on same printer, which is the Prusa SL1S. And uh, definitely then the, these uh, results should be comparable with each other. Uh, but let's take a closer look and check the dimensional accuracy. So these test objects are for the bending test. Uh, I have two of them. These are for impact test, uh, tensile strength test, torque test, shear test, and another for torque test. And also I have this uh, C type uh, for the creep test, but uh, the creep test already started earlier because it uh, lasts uh, at least one week. And quick check of the dimensional accuracy. 10.09, okay, acceptable. Let's see this one. Very similar. This should be four millimeters. The diameter should be uh, six millimeters. That's close enough, so definitely the results will be comparable because uh, the dimensions are very similar. Maybe I'll check this one. Uh, this should be 4x4 four four millimeters. Oh, very accurate. Good work, Samuel. So I will start with the tensile strength test. Uh, so as I mentioned earlier, the smallest cross-section area is 4x4 four four millimeters. And uh, with my equipment, I can measure only the brake load. And here they are after this uh, tensile test and uh, unfortunately they didn't broke on the proper position but a little bit uh, higher. Uh, in the meantime I redesigned these test specimens to raise the thickness on the bottom and upper part and the smaller cross section area will stay 4 by 4 millimeters. But at least uh, this is the comparison test and uh, all four test specimens broke uh, equally. And now let's move to the shear stress. The diameter of these test specimens is 5 millimeters. So it is double-sided shear stress where I have the double area of that uh, 5 mm in diameter. And this is what left from the test objects and uh, as usually with the resin they just explode uh, but uh, they are shared probably on at least those two cross-section areas but uh, here after the breaking you saw uh, a lot of more pieces. It's time for a three-point bending test. Uh, distance between supports is 50 millimeters and I want to measure the load at two millimeter deformation and the maximal deformation and the maximal load. And this is what left from the test objects after this bending test. As you can see, it is not always easy to find all the parts, especially when I'm experimenting with the rigid resin. That's why it is important to wear a safety goggles during this kind of experiments. The summary of the results I will show you later in this video, after all the tests are done. 
with this ISO impact test I wanted to find out uh, which material is less brittle so I have here half kilogram hammer and it will sink to the other side and if I, if I place here the test specimen it will break it and sink to the lower uh, position and uh, that material will be stronger uh, where the hammer will uh, swing to the lower position and by measuring the distance from the zero position I can calculate the potential energy which is used to break this uh, test object. Cruciment. Zero position. Zero It is interesting to see how they broke very equally. Let's analyze the results. So this is the scale and this is the zero position. And this is after breaking the plus cement test object. And this is after breaking the Syria. And if I left only the lines, I can see the difference is really minimal, only one millimeter on this scale. And if I use this equation, I can calculate the energy used for breaking the test specimens and results will be in joules. Only pay attention here, age must be in meters, not in millimeters. In this torque test I'm using these test specimens, they are 6 millimeters in diameter and uh, 30 millimeters long. And this size goes into the vise and the other side goes into the uh, torque meter, which can measure the peak of one movement between 0.3 and 30 newton meters. One point three. Second test. One point two is the peak, and now Syria. One point three. Syria second test. One point four. As I expected, uh, I couldn't make a 90 degree turn and they are very rigid, so that's why I wear safety goggles uh, during this test. And uh, it is interesting to notice that again they broke very similarly. The next experiment is the creep test, which I described in one of my previous videos. And these are my test specimens, which became um, some kind of standard in my testings. Here you can see the dimensions, but what is important that uh, this distance by default is 12 millimeters. And I will place this 1.25 kilogram load on each test object. I will lock the position so it doesn't deform until I measure it. 24.36 19.92 Day 1 after 24 hours and let's measure the plus cement first 40.73 27.82 millimeters This is day two, but if it continues with creeping, that uh, probably I uh, will need the new uh, holders. 52.38 31.17 This is a state after three days and I printed new holders because this from aluminium was uh, too small now. Plus amend 62.31 Siraya 33.76 It's a 4 day and I'm very curious if the plus amend will fail in maybe 1 or 2 days 67.73 It's a fifth day, visually it slowed down with the deformation, but uh, let's measure it and maybe I will stop the experiment here. 72.2 and see right here. 
38.86 I'll stop the experiment now because uh, this plus material will almost fall down from the holder and uh, I want to remove the weight now because I want to record uh, some regeneration of the material to see maybe first uh, 15 minutes or half hours time lapse and uh, later I want to measure the dimension after maybe 4 hours to see what will be the permanent deformation. That was just a short uh, time lapse. Uh, I will wait maybe three more hours and then measure the dimensions. And I would say that's very close to the permanent deformation. Okay, the final deformation on plus cement resin 49.82, and on Syria sculpt resin is 27.43. And let's analyze all the results. For those who are watching from mobile phone, you can download the results as an image, so you can zoom in to see better the numbers. And uh, on this graph you can see the average values. Let's start with the 10 size strength. Here the Seraya was a little bit stronger compared to the Pro cement, but uh, this was the only test where I have this bigger difference uh, between test 1 and test 2. Mm, I'm not sure uh, about the reason, but uh, anyway, I wouldn't say this is a significant difference. And same case with the uh, share stress. Uh, here the plus cement was uh, a little bit stronger, but uh, nothing significant. Uh, on a bending test, uh, we can see that plus cement uh, deformed more at the brake load, but that uh, load was uh, bigger compared to the Syria. On impact tests, they were quite equal, and just for comparison, they are very brittle material, uh, even more brittle than average PLA. On torque tests, again, very similar results, uh, and they uh, couldn't even make that uh, 90 degree twist because I usually record a load on 90 degree rotations. And then maybe on the creep test, we can see a little bit significant uh, difference. Uh, on a permanent load, the plus cement deform more. And uh, here I stopped the experiment because I was afraid that it will fall down from the holder and I wanted to record some time lapse of the regeneration. Uh, so here I remove the load and uh, this is the dimension after 4 hours, which is very close to the permanent deformation. And now the conclusions. Well, first of all, I would like to thanks to Samuel for sending these uh, test objects for me. And actually the Samuel did the unboxing uh, video of the plus cement uh, resin. I will place the link down in the description. And of course I would like to thanks to my Patreon supporters. Because I mentioned earlier, I will try to spend uh, those donations uh, to buy sensors, tools and other equipment you will see in the, these uh, experiments. About these two materials, well, uh, they are quite uh, equal, uh, but plus cement is more expensive. Maybe in the creep test I saw a little bit bigger difference, but don't forget I tested only from mechanical strength aspect, I'm sure there are other uh, things to consider when you are buying the uh, plus cement. Oh, I'm not familiar with them, uh, maybe you can write me in the description because I, I don't have SLS in the printer, uh, so I'm not familiar with those other aspects. So the results with the Excel table I will, you can download from my website and also I will post there a picture uh, because I get comments that somebody watching from mobile phone, but in that case you can download that picture and scale to watch the results on a uh, smaller screen too. Uh, well, that would be it. Thank you for watching and uh, happy printing.